My name is Boni Chunya. This is business. Most Kenyan companies are spending huge resources poaching employees instead of retaining their own. Now, this is according to a new strategy by a new survey. Here's KTN's Adle Changola with the rest of that report. Lack of career development, poor work-life balance, and lack of proper remunerations are some of the factors that continue to plague employees, both in the private and public sectors, according to a survey by consulting firm Deloitte East Africa. As a result, organizations spend more resources trying to retain the few employees that exhibit exceptional talents needed for the job. Retention and engagement replaces leadership as the key human capital challenge. This has created the spate of poaching witnessed in various sectors of the economy as skilled workers who are in high demand move from one employer to another in search of greener pastures. People who know are effective are moving from one organization to the other. Now when they do that, every time they move, they ask for a premium. So they, are, they want to be paid more than their previous job. And that has been driving up salaries in Kenya. To solve this, the experts are urging firms to nurture and develop their own talent, not only to reduce the skills gap, but also to reduce the cost that comes with poaching. Hiring your way out of the skills shortage is increasingly going to become more difficult to do. So the challenge to organizations will be to effectively build your own supply chain. It's always expensive to replace and bring people from outside. There will always be a premium, premium on the cost. The findings were released during the launch of the 2014 Best Company to Work for survey by the consulting firm. Because it includes a value rating, this helps you to narrow down and pinpoint what matters most to your employees so that you can realign your engagement strategies. The survey is in its third year and will study more than 30 companies. Adelaide Changole, KTN Business.